to be able to actually race is probably the best part. Like all of us, people maybe don't see on the outside, like all of us do these time trials at the start of the year and you know, they're 5Ks and you're never side by side and then you get your state championship regattas in, but then to actually come to nationals and verse, you know, every single person from every other state is like just the best part of it all. Like other than here, you know, the only other time you get to do it is at a selection regatta and, you know, pressure's on there. Whereas nationals, you can actually race for a medal and, you know, race race for your state as well at the end of the, end of the regatta. So that's the best part. Really impressed with all the athletes that I've been working with. They've done a really good job staying level-headed, um, really strategic about the conditions and dealing with um, what Ngambi's uh, given us to deal with. Oh, it's so exciting. Ngambi is the place to be. Really put a show us, show on for us on day one. Yeah, and now really... Ngambi's really showing its true colours. Yeah, but... <laughs> typical Ngambi. <laughs> yeah. Victorians are used to this, so it's right in our alley. <laughs> we didn't think it was going to happen. We thought uh, it was going to be cancelled like it was last year, but we're so excited to be here at Lake Ngambi. I mean, the kids train seven days a week. Quite often they're rowing in the morning, uh, back in the gym in the afternoon. A lot of them not only just row, but they coach as well. It's really great to see. The word of the week is uh, grateful. We just couldn't be here without the Shire Strathbogie, without the McGambie Rowing Club, without the uh, City of Greater Shepparton, without the support of the Victorian State Government. Uh, but most importantly of all, a whole range of volunteers, an army of volunteers from boat holders to boat officials to car park attendants and, and everyone assisting with the presentations. I know every, for everyone else, that interstate regatta, the Queens and Kings Cups, that's going to see the Governor General here to present those trophies, both of them over 100 years old. So much history. Uh, let's hope the racing is competitive as it was last year at Lake Barrington.